attachment and its influence on our emotional state. Attachment describes how we learn to relate to people, trust people, and interact with people. This style of relating to others develops at the same time that our emotional nervous system is also being developed. So let's quickly go over that. A child's emotional nervous system needs help to fully develop in the first seven to 11 years of life. Whatever state, whether it's calm or anxious, that the child spends the most time in, gets adopted and automated over time by their brains. It becomes a sort of home base emotional state. In early years, a parent sitting with a child as the experience emotion, naming it, then soothing a child back to calm, not only teaches them a new language, it also repeatedly shows their nervous system what calm feels like in their body. Done consistently, this also starts to build trust in the relationship. As a child gets older, Parents then show them how to soothe or calm themselves while still coming to an adult as needed because they've established reliability. This process is the reason why our ability to trust often goes hand in hand with our baseline emotional nervous system state. As a child grows, and their brain starts to develop judgment and discernment, parents start to show them how to assess situations for themselves. It's a layer by layer, age by age process. What results is a way of relating to other people combined with an emotional nervous system state that has been adopted as default and runs automatically. This way of relating or ability to cultivate trust is called attachment style. And it develops at the same time that our emotional nervous system is learning or not learning what calm is. Although there are variations, here are three attachment or relating styles that we hear talked about most often. Secure anxious, and avoidant. If secure attachment had a voice and could talk like you and I can, emotionally, it might say, I feel calm inside most days, and I know how to reliably get myself back there in unexpected situations, because calm is my default state. Relationally, secure attachment might say, I enjoy relationships. Although I'm independent, I also know that there are people out there that can be trusted if and when I need them. If anxious attachment had a voice and could speak like you and I, emotionally, it might say, I don't feel calm inside very often. I feel nervous or like I need to be doing something all the time. It seems like that's just the way I am because anxious has become my default state. Relationally, anxious attachment might say, I want to be in a relationship, but it's hard for me to trust that someone will consistently be there for me if I need them. I better just do everything myself. If avoidant attachment style had a voice, emotionally, it might say, my body doesn't feel calm inside very often, especially around people. I can't explain it. It seems like that's just the way I am because it's all I've ever known. Relationally, avoidant attachment might say, I'm not sure about relationships. It's hard for me to trust that someone will consistently be there for me if I need them. I better just back off, say nothing, and keep to myself. As adults, we can either learn to cope with, work with, and manage those anxious, avoidant relational styles and the emotional states that go along with them, 
or we can learn to develop a more secure relational style and a calmer emotional state as our default. But wait, you might ask, what about all that stuff we hear about mindset, meaning, and unconscious thought patterns? Where do they fit in? Yep, thought patterns and meanings are an important third piece that develops right alongside our emotional nervous system state and our relational style. It's a piece that we can learn to use, sort of like a tool, to help foster and automate a calmer emotional state, as well as develop secure relationships. We talk in detail about that piece in the upcoming class, What's Stopping You? Discover the beliefs that may be limiting your potential. So keep an eye open for that in the upcoming weeks. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in class.